Hi, if you're seeing this video, you either are a crazy end times person or you know a crazy end times person. Somebody that's completely obsessed with the rapture and the end of days. And they've been telling you and telling you for years, the end's coming, you gotta get ready, get right with God, know your place with Jesus. They care about you. People that love you in a godly way care about you and we're trying to warn you. So this message is coming to you as kind of a form of an apology. You know, uh, we were overzealous <laughs> to say the least. Um, the signs we saw made us think the end was right in front of us. Back in 2017, as a matter of fact, you see what happened was there was a great sign in the sun, moon, and stars. As God said there would be, a great sign in the sun, moon, and stars. And if you remember back in 2017, in August, there was this great American eclipse that crossed over America only and went through 12 states, seven cities named Salem, which is, comes from Jerusalem. And the first city, Salem, Washington, that had the eclipse went dark the exact same moment Jerusalem had sunset. So there's so much about that eclipse that, that proved out to be a biblical sign, but then it was followed 33 days later by this great Revelation 12 sign, a Bible verse written right in the sky. Behold, the woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet. That was talking about Virgo. And the planet Jupiter had moved into the womb of Virgo where it bounced back and forth for nine and a half months. It was the perfect picture of a pregnancy and was delivered at the Feast of Trumpets, one of God's appointed times, in the which other planets moved in above her head, causing the normal crown of nine stars to become a crown of 12 stars. Once in a lifetime event, a Bible verse written verbatim in the sky. We followed the next couple of verses and it said, the child was birthed and then caught up to God. We thought that's the rapture. Well, here we are seven years later, we're still talking about the rapture and uh, we, uh, we really were overzealous in, in our thoughts. We can show you where God promises he will not bring judgment ever without setting up watchmen that he will tell his servants to warn the world. So in a grand scheme of 6,000 years, I don't believe a seven year warning period is inappropriate, but rather very appropriate. And if we look at the timing of that first sign that launched this community, which is now worldwide, millions of people are watching for the end times. And there are hundreds of online YouTube channels and TikTok and websites, authors, scholars that go around the world speaking that are all in agreement. The end is very near and you know it too, if you're paying attention. So my hope is this is a kind of a reach back out. I know for, for myself, I was so overzealous with my family and friends that then I alienated them. And now they look at me kind of with pity. Oh, poor guy, he's still delusional about the end times. But we see exactly what the Bible says the end times will be forming in the world. The end times in the book of Revelation, God explains that the Antichrist will incorporate a one world government. We see that on the brink right now. They will have a one world military force. It already is in place. It's the UN military. It's a separate unit of military, but encompasses the entire world. They will use a one world currency that will be biometrically attached to you so that you will not be able to buy or sell unless you are in this system. They already have the technology. They already have it in place. They're just waiting for the moment to introduce it. And it will be tied to your obedience to their system, including taking any kind of medication or education that they require. 
Finally, there will be a one world religion. The entire world will unite under a one world religion that will exclude Jesus Christ. Everybody will coexist. All religions, you already see this forming. In Abu Dhabi, there is the Abrahamic Covenant House, which is three houses of the major religions, which is Catholic, Jew, and Islam. And they all have come together in agreement, except for the Christians. So the next step that will launch all this is the rapture. So why did we have a seven year warning? Let me ask something of you. What if you knew, first of all, I'm not a, uh, uh, a certified pastor or, or Bible scholar or anything. I am a man that just loves to study the Bible. And I love to look at the deeper meanings in the Bible and connect the typologies of Jesus. Remember, Jesus said the whole Bible is about me. So when you read the story of Adam or Joseph or Moses, when you see that it's also about Jesus, you get special meanings that come out. So I am, I am one of these in our community called a watchman. And we study the deeper meanings because God said, surely I will do no thing unless I tell my servants. So the rapture in the end times is clearly written. What if you knew that the Bible says God will give mankind 6,000 years? What if you knew he told Noah, my spirit shall not always strive with man, but his day shall be 120 years. And then Noah built the ark and preached to everybody for 120 years. And then the flood came exactly when God said it would. Well, God works in 50 year periods and 120 times 50 is 6,000. God created the earth in six days and on the seventh day he rested. He says, a day is like a thousand years unto the Lord and a thousand years like unto a day. So his six days became 6,000 years and then he will reign for a thousand years of peace. That's his rest his Sabbath of rest. We can show you, I'm not here to try to convince you of anything, but only to kind of invite you back to take a look. We will show, we will link uh, channels that are talking about this. We can show you and prove to you the 6,000 years. We're in year 2024. Have you ever wondered 2024 from what? Even Christians maybe have not dwelt on this. But that's 2,024 years from when Jesus came into the earth as a baby, born of a virgin. Then he would walk the perfect number of years and then go to the cross at about age 30 or 33. We know that that was approximately 30 or 31 AD. It was previously thought possibly up to 33 AD, but more study has flushed that out that it's not. If God said, I will return in two days and a thousand years is like a day unto Jesus, that means he's going to come back in 30 to 31. And the world has just signed a covenant with many for a seven year agenda covenant that ends with 2030. You may have heard of the, the 2030 agenda. So the enemy is putting all of the pieces together that are in the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel, just like God spoke it. And Israel, there's a, there's a prophecy that Israel will not pass 80 years before the end comes. They're 75 right now. So we have a lot of information that points to this year, the end of a seven year perfect warning from God of a group of watchmen all over the world, speaking up, telling everybody, being completely wrong over and over, and we apologize. I mean, we were crying wolf, if you will. We were a bunch of chicken littles running around saying, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. So it's understandable that you uh, pity us and that you've maybe turned your head. But I wanna testify, we weren't wrong 
in what we were seeing. We were seeing supernatural signs as he said, I will put signs in the sun, moon, and stars and perplexity upon nation and great deception would rise up. And then one entity would control the entire world. Did we already see that in 2020? Did they shut everybody down and put everybody around the world in mass? Who has that power? The Antichrist, the one that's coming. And you know they can do it again in a moment. But if we had a seven-year warning where knowledge of God's purpose was just increasing, just like it said in Daniel, I'll open the books at the end. And at the end, knowledge of my purpose and plan will be increased. So this group of watchmen, we have been uh, looking a little silly to most of the world. But if you look at the prophets of God, you know, Isaiah had to preach three years naked. And Ezekiel had to lay on his side for 390 days and eat bread cooked with dung. And many of God's prophets, Jonah, got swallowed by a whale. When he got spat out, you know, he was just resurrected from being dead. He would have been pale white and looking like a ghoul. And he goes into Nineveh and says, oh, the end's coming if you don't repent. Well, what we have coming up very quickly, and I'll, 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 I'll show you this, is another sign completing this seven-year period. So we invite you to come back the end is near. I believe many of you that thought it was crazy seven years ago now are thinking, hey, that's not so crazy. And if you want to, we have studies to show from history, from Nebuchadnezzar and Cyrus and Artaxerxes and the promised land and the, the decrees in the Bible that bring us right to this period of time. We can show you that Israel's rebirth was exactly as God prophesied from the decree to rebuild Jerusalem till Israel came back was exact number of days. It wasn't random. And that brings us to looking at another future time in 2028. If you knew that from the time of Nebuchadnezzar, the exact prophesied number of years would bring World War I? Would you think that was interesting? Or when Hitler would rise? Or when the Nuremberg trials were? That are prophesied and put in the Bible? That the Dome of the Rock, which was the great abomination put in a holy place, was an exact number of years? And from that time brings us right to our modern time. So, these are the things we are seeing, and these, this is why we spoke up. So I'm gonna invite my wife up for a minute to show you the next sign that's coming. Wife? And we're back! All right, look at these beautiful shirts that uh, we can uh, put a link in where to, where to get these. But this is the next amazing sign in the sun, moon, and stars that the Lord is sending for the end times, this will happen on April 8th, which is actually the first day of God's year. So you may remember in the Bible, it says that Satan will raise up and seek to change times and seasons. And God, in the beginning of the Bible, said, I created the sun, moon, and stars for signs. Number one reason for signs and then seasons. But the word seasons is his appointed times. So I created the sun, moon, and stars to show signs to mankind about my appointments with mankind. So God's year starts in the spring at the Passover. Satan came and changed it to January at the winter solstice to start the year. The names of many of the months and days of the week are satanic and pagan. He changed the calendars. That's why people are confused. We don't know the day or the hour. The verse that has plagued the, the Watchman community since the beginning. Nobody knows the day or the hour. Everybody in the world knows that verse. Atheists know that verse. When you start talking about end times, they spit that back out at you. As if to say, 
Nobody knows the day or the hour, so why would you look? Well, what about the month? What about the year? What about the season? We know we are in the season. Again, we can count the 6,000 years. So this sign has never happened before. And the way it is, the details of the sign make it incredible. You'll see up here, this letter is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It's the Aleph. And then this letter is the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is the Tav. So this represents the ox. If you turn it on its side, you would see the ox horns. And this represents the cross, which tilt this way now, <laughs> the cross. All right. So you've heard God say, I am the Alpha and Omega. That's in Greek. In Hebrew, he would have said, I am the Aleph and the Tav the first and the last. So in this eclipse, come up my toes a little bit, you see clearly the Aleph that was formed by three paths of the eclipses. And then if you take out this bottom one, you see the Tav, as if God is making his mark on America, saying I'm the first and the last. America is currently the most Christian nation and America is found nowhere in end time prophecy. So we believe with the rapture and the escape of all of those who believe on the blood of Jesus Christ to wash away their sins, will decimate America. And shortly after, America will fall into complete control of other nations. So the crossing point of where those two eclipses cross is right at little Egypt. And God says that he will destroy the gods of Egypt and just like in the Exodus, bring us out. So we can show you the 6,000 years. We can show you Israel will not pass 80 years before the end comes. They are currently 75. We can show you Jesus on the cross in 30 or 31 AD. We can show you the end and the agenda 2030 that the enemy has planned. And if you look up the 17 uh, components of this covenant, it is complete world domination and control. You will not be able to do a single thing without permission and without obedience to the system. This is the end times. We are called, all of us felt an unction of the Holy Spirit to start speaking up about what we saw. You'll see these pictures behind me. These are all your favorite old Bible stories. Joseph, Jesus, Joshua, Moses crossing the Red Sea, the story of Noah. These pictures are prophecies and they all appoint to appointed times. April 8th will be the last day of God's year. So April 9th into the 10th will start the new year for God, the first of God's months called Nisan. The 14th would fall around April 23rd and the resurrection day would be three days later around April 26 or 27. And we believe that is a very good possibility for another mass exodus. We have seen a lot, learned a lot. The Lord has ordered our steps through his word and taught us so much about his purpose. Many of us believe the rapture will happen at an appointed time. Many of us do not. Many of my comrades do not necessarily hold to that. But the thing is, we all know the end is very near. And we believe this year, 2024, is going to shake the entire earth. So I hope this was a blessing to you. I hope this has caused many of you to kind of open the eyes again, give an ear to one of your crazy rapture friends. And uh, we invite you to look in. We're, I'll leave a link to many of my friends and comrades in the uh, Watchman community at the end of this video. And uh, I hope 
that you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, that you have accepted his work on the cross, his spilt perfect blood as payment for your sins and the sins of the world. All you have to do is hear his good news. That's the gospel is good news and accept that he died for you. That's how you are saved. All that believe on him, call upon him, shall be saved. Why did we need a savior? The very first man, Adam, was made in God's image, body, soul, and spirit. He was given one rule. Do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It was actually a attempt to usurp God's authority to become my own judge of good and evil, much like how Satan chose to usurp God. When Adam and Eve ate of that fruit, the Spirit of God was lost and they became naked. And man was doomed. By one man's offense, death reigned. All were appointed to eternal separation from God if there was not a Savior. Jesus came to restore the Holy Spirit back to mankind. So the first Adam was a man. The second Adam or last Adam was a quickening spirit. He came to restore the spirit to you. How do you get the Holy Spirit? Hear his good news, believe on it, and accept the free gift of salvation. Okay, so to wrap up, the sad reality is most Christians of the world don't read the Bible very much, and they certainly don't study it day and night looking for deeper meaning. Over 50,000 churches of the world are part of the Southern Baptist Convention, which allows for tax-free status. So it's very lucrative to be a member of this. Now in their directive, they dissuade teaching on the pre-tribulation rapture and on the end times. They're more about doing messages to build churches and try to start revivals. That's good for business. Uh, but uh, rapture talking and the end of the world is, is really bad for business. So that's why you haven't heard of this in church. If you're a member of, of one of those churches, you, you may never hear this in your whole time coming. If you are hearing of it, you're in a very unique church and you, you are very blessed. But that is why people don't know about the rapture. And that is why we seem so weird when we're talking about the rapture. I am not an official spokesman for the Watchman community, but this is a message that I felt was needed. This is something that I wish somebody would have done that I could send to my friends as like a, an apology. I, man, I'm sorry we, we scared you away. I'm sorry I jumped the gun. I'm sorry I was so excited and spewed all over you. But the truth is, we weren't wrong. We were just early. And I am so very sorry. We all are so very sorry that we're not sorry that we did this, that we heard the unction from the Holy Spirit, and we were obedient, and we went out preaching what we knew. The end is coming. The end is near. The rapture is near. We did the best we can, and because of it, millions and millions of people have come to trust in the blood of Jesus Christ as their atonement to bring at one meant to redeem them back to God by the blood of Jesus Christ over the past seven years. Billions, perhaps, at least hundreds of millions, will be saved right after the rapture because we were out here jabbity jab talking to everybody and telling everybody and looking foolish. And I think a lot of our videos will then become life-saving guides to help people. If you're left behind, don't take the mark that will be required to buy and sell. That is the mark of the beast spoken of in the book of Revelation. Bibles will disappear. 
Uh, many of our Watchman community have, have made jump drives and of course all of our houses are, are littered with Bibles and notes and, and uh, we don't know what will happen with the internet with things being taken off. You know, they're already censoring and taking many of us off already. So this is a, a kind of a desperate plea. Please come back and take a look. Okay, we may be wrong. It may be another couple of years, but we really feel strongly that this year, 2024, the world's going to get rocked again, just like in 2020, only times 10. So uh, I hope this reaches you in good spirits and that you're thankful to your crazy friend that was saying all this stuff. And now you say, hey, I'm ready to hear some of this. What's going on with this one world government and this chip? And why are they trying to control us? And we'll own nothing and be happy about it. Well, now it's all making sense. It was all written ahead of time. This is Dr. Barry signing off. Uh, be blessed. And I hope to see you in the clouds. So in closing, the end is very near. I hope your relationship with God is sound. If you are left behind, we have thousands of videos to tell you what's going to happen. The warning is this. Do not accept the mark of the beast that will come that causes rejection of Jesus Christ. Anybody that takes that mark cannot be saved. So this mark, we believe, will come with the biometrics that you won't be able to buy or sell. It'll be about in the middle of the tribulation, and it will include that you must reject Jesus Christ. If you don't, the Bible says, they that kept the testimony of Jesus Christ will get their heads chopped off. But that's your path to heaven. You still have a chance to go to heaven in the rapture without any trouble. It is a escape, a reward from a loving father to gather his bride. His whole purpose was to get a bride from mankind. Are you part of the bride? Hope to see in the clouds very soon. This year will rock the world.